What's up guys and welcome back to another Marketplace Project Showcase. This project is an interaction system starter pack and saves you countless hours of programming. They have made several blueprints which enable you to interact with the level in different ways. This is going to be handy when you want to make a game or any kind of project and you want to implement some interaction mechanism. You can just choose one of the blueprints in the pack and import it into your project. Alright, now let's open it up and see what we have. Here I have opened the project and before we play the level, I need to mention that I have made some changes in the map. This is the default sky in the level, but I turn it into this one using a sky sphere blueprint to make it look a little cooler. If you want to know how to make customized skies in Unreal with only a couple of clicks, you can watch this video here. Another thing that I changed is the speed of the first person character. The default value was so high and it was so fast. And if you want to slow it down a little, you can just go to the first person character blueprint and adjust the speed easily. Here just put the filter on blueprint so you can find the first person character and then open it up. Here in the components tab, select the character movement and then in the details tab, scroll down to the walking tab. Here let's decrease the speed to 300 and now we are good to go. Now let's play the level and see what we got. The first cool feature here is that by pressing E you can pick up movable actors and by pressing F you can throw them or you can just press E and drop the object. You are also able to adjust the force of the throwing easily. Let's just open up the first person blueprint and here in the throw item box we have a throwing velocity option. Let's bump up the velocity to 5 times bigger than the default value and now you can see that it's throwing it much faster and it can basically be used as a weapon in your games. Let's shoot it in the sky and see when it comes back. 2000 years later. Okay, now let's stop messing around and go inside and see what else we have in the map. Here we have some sort of a puzzle and we should put the shapes in their place and when we do that, the lights turn into green. Here we have some destructible mugs that can be smashed into pieces and also the red cubes are destructible as well. The destruction feels really good and works perfectly without dropping my FPS. Here at the end of the room we have a very cute pistol and we can use it to destroy the breakable objects in the level. We also have a pickaxe and we can use it to mine the wall here and go to the other side. The foliage is destructible as well and we can mine them and extract assets and loot from them using our pickaxe. Other than these features, we have some simple but extremely useful blueprints as well. For example, we have a door system here which can be opened by pressing this key in the level. There are basically two ways to use the keys here. You can just simply interact with them by pressing E on your keyboard or you can put something on them and they basically get activated by putting some pressure on top of them. The main door works with a pressure plate as well and the way they are set up is that you can easily connect them with your own assets in your level. The project is made by Simon Kira and in his YouTube channel he has made some in-depth tutorials about the assets and how to implement them in your maps properly. If you want to use the assets in your projects, I strongly recommend watching his tutorials to get a good understanding about the capabilities and use cases of these assets. The package is free for June in Marketplace so if you are watching this video in June 2023, you don't have much time. Just go to the Marketplace and grab the pack as soon as possible. Yeah, that's it guys and I'll leave the links in the description. Thank you very much for watching, see you in the next one.